Is your pull day getting a little snoozy, a little boring? Just stick around, I got you. We about to burn up your back and biceps and get them a popping, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. If you are new, thanks so much for stopping on today's video. I've got another workout circuit for y'all. We've got a pull day. So if you are new to the terminology, pull is going to be your biceps and your back muscles. So if you are here for upper body, I've got a brand new circuit I've been doing for about three weeks and I am seeing the gains from it. I'm feeling the burn from it. So it's definitely effective and it's something that most people can do even at home some things if you have some weight. So I know a lot of y'all asked me and said that you needed everything converted to home. I do plan on doing some home videos for you guys in the future. I'm just focusing on my gym circuits right now and then we'll move on to those. Also make sure that you adjust the weight on these exercises accordingly to you, the reps and how many rounds that you do this. A lot of y'all asked me how long my leg day circuit took me last time. I show you guys at the end exactly how long it took me to do this pull day. But if you do just two rounds or even one round of this guys, it's gonna be beneficial for a lot of you guys just starting don't have to go as long as me. I am in full training and cutting modes. I'm doing things a little bit more aggressively than most people would do. Keep that in mind and adjust the weight to where it feels comfortable, but still is pushing you. You don't want to go too light. You don't want to go too heavy. Find that sweet spot and progressively overload each and every week. Your goal is to do the same exercises, but put a little bit more weight on each week and get stronger and stronger. And that's how you're going to build muscle. If you can't up the weight, up the reps. So I had a lot of questions with that last week. If the weight's still too heavy for you, just try to add some more reps each and every week. So let's get into this pull day, y'all. I'm ready to kill your back and biceps. As always, guys, we're gonna warm up. You can do any type of warm up that you want. I just enjoy incline walking. If you like the elliptical stairmaster, go for it. Just make sure you warm up before you do any strength training. First exercise, we're gonna be working our back. We're doing the narrow grip pull down. I'm using a full stack. I like to go on the floor. You can definitely do this on the bench too over on the other side of the machine. I just like to do it this way. And this is a narrow grip pull down. So you wanna make sure that your arms are close in together, not super wide and you are really squeezing your lats and your back muscles as you pull down and release slowly. The goal is not to just pull down a weight and feel beast mode. It's about having that mind muscle connection. So if you are not feeling any type of way in your back, then you're working your biceps and we don't want that. This next picture, I'm gonna show you that I am pulling the machine to my chest. You don't wanna pull down to your waist. You don't want it to go over your head. Make sure that you're pulling to your chest, holding and squeezing. You're gonna get that mind muscle connection and you're really gonna feel this working if you do it this way versus just trying to get the weight down. Do whatever weight works best for you. Remember, these are all individualized to me. Now we're moving on to biceps. I like to switch from back biceps, back biceps, so that way we're giving that muscle a little break before the next set. These are seated concentrated hammer curls. You wanna make sure that your back is flat against a bench or something against the wall, whatever that may be. You can do these standing as well. I'm doing 17 and a half pounds, but let me tell you, I just worked my way up from 15. These are super heavy, especially when you are just using your biceps and you're not using any tension from your back. You do not want to do that. 12 reps times three. You're going to feel your biceps burn oh so bad for this, especially when you bring the weight up and squeeze, as you can see I'm doing. I'm not just going crazy and flailing the weights around. I'm really taking my time and thinking about what I'm doing as I'm lifting squeezing your bicep, it's going to burn so bad. You don't have to go beast mode on the poundage here, I'm telling you. Next is gonna be cable one arm pull downs. We're working our back again. Make sure that you are leaned over and far back enough to where your back is flat. You don't wanna have any hunching going over. And you wanna make sure that you don't lift your arm way too far up. I'm actually lifting mine a little bit higher than I'd like to. That's why I like filming my workouts too, cause I go back and I correct form as I go. And you wanna make sure that you can only feel your back muscles working. If you feel like you have too much tension in your bicep, then you're either not far enough back away from the cable machine or you are not standing correctly. So make sure that your form is awesome before doing these. I am only doing 15 pounds. You do not need to go heavy on these. You will definitely feel it. 
12 reps times three. Now moving on back onto biceps. Now I have to work on my form a little on these. These are new to me, cable rope face curls. You wanna stand far enough back to where you're not having any tension in your back. I'm having a little issue with that. I probably need to stand a little bit further, but you only want to be working obviously your biceps. Make sure that you extend all the way and then make it go all the way to your face and squeeze those biceps every time you bring it towards your face. This next shot, I'm gonna show you that I have my arms close together, they're not wide, and my elbows are stationary with my body. So they're not like flailing up back towards my head. The only thing that's moving is my forearms and I'm squeezing my biceps. Moving on to back again, one arm cable rows. Y'all, this is the exercise right here for your back it will burn your back so bad. You can do this on the machine as well. You don't have to be sitting on the floor. Y'all know I like to sit on the floor for a lot of things if you watch. It just, it's easier for me and I like it. 25 pounds plus the additional plate, 15 reps times three. Make sure when you pull it back that your arm is close to your body. It's not far away so you're not straining your bicep. You're working your back here and squeeze. Squeeze that muscle as you bring it back and really take your time. There's no point in going beast mode fast with all these workouts. The whole point is to make sure you're working the muscle group. So if you're taking your time, squeezing, really thinking about what you're doing, you're gonna see the benefits from these workouts over time. Next, we have the cable bicep curls. You don't have to go ham on the weight with these either. I just added the additional plate to the 10 pounds. And if you are extending all the way back, bringing it in and really squeezing it, keeping that arm close to your body and only feeling your biceps working, you will barely get through this. I'm doing 10 reps times three and I just added the plate. And by the time I get to rep eight, my bicep is on fire and I'm ready to like throw in the towel. But I feel like these definitely work that muscle really, really well, especially if you're taking your time, like you see me doing again, I'm not going crazy with going super fast. Take your time, squeeze the muscle. I know I sound like a broken record, but that's the only way that you need to be doing your pull day is to make sure the mind muscle connections there. Next, we're going to do some machine work. So we're doing the lat pull down. I'm only doing 50 pounds on these. That's pretty heavy for me. And being that I just did my circuit, these are kind of like burnouts for me. So I'm still working the muscle, but I don't have to go crazy eight reps times three. This mu this machine is really great. If you have one at your gym, I highly suggest it. You can do these one armed as well. I love doing that as well, lowering the weight down and doing a little bit extra reps with one arm on each side. But this is definitely going to work the back, get you that muscle definition that you want and just have a little burnout session after what you've done already. Next, we have the bicep curl machine. Now, we did bicep curls plenty earlier, but again, I wanna burn out these muscles and really make sure that they are a popping before we leave and feeling the burn. 30 pounds, that's lightweight, but again, I wanna take my time. I have my arms close together. As I bring up the weight, you guys see I am squeezing and holding and slowly extending before I bring it up again. 10 to 12 reps is all you need to do, even though it's lightweight since we are going at this after our session. You're gonna feel the burn, it's gonna hurt. Make sure that you adjust your weight and your reps accordingly to you. I can't stress that enough. Now for me personally, I my goal for 2022 is to do one pull up unassisted. I just started using the assisted band. This is probably the lightest band they have at my Planet Fitness and I have it wrapped up there and I'm able to do two to three reps. Now after I just did all that back work, two reps was all I could do today. As you can see, I'm dusted, but I'm taking my time doing negatives going down. So I'm really working that muscle group to gain strength as we go forward for our pull-up game. And then I always end every single one of my sessions here recently with some weighted ropes, 45 seconds, and I do that times three. If you want something to get your cardio heart rate up, do these, either as your warm up and as your burnout at the end, it's gonna elevate your heart rate so fast. It's such a great workout for the upper body. Highly suggest it, don't be intimidated. So many of y'all told me last week for the leg day video that y'all were scared of things, guys. Go in there like you own that gym. A lot of y'all also asked me how long. It took me an hour and 40 minutes to do this circuit, but you do not have to go that long. You can only do it times two if you want. And there's the victory, y'all. Victory from all the hard work that we are putting in. 
So that's gonna do it for this pull day workout video. I'll make sure if you do this pull day circuit to come back to this video and let me know um, how dead you are and tag me on Instagram with your videos and your victory pictures. I love seeing it. Let me know how you fared out and if you liked it and if you enjoyed it. It might give you some ideas even if you don't do the whole thing to throw into your pull day. That's the whole point of these videos. If you enjoy these workout videos and you wanna see more, please make sure to give a huge thumbs up. That helps me out so much here and I appreciate it so much. And if you are new, I would love to have you a part of the fam. Make sure to hit all the bells and whistles before you leave. I think next week we're going to do, y'all let me know if you want to see my other leg day. It's the worst of the worst. Or if you want to have that push day come in. I've got those two left and then we'll get into home workouts. Love you guys so much. Y'all have an awesome day. Keep killing it out there. I see you. I'm watching you and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay.